Hi, yeah. Um, I'm going to do a video on uh, Maxwell now. Um, you may have heard that Maxwell was arrested last week, and um, I went and had a look at her mental state on Friday evening. Um, I never looked at her before, but what I saw was that um, she had no intention at the time to release to give any names to the authorities. The authorities were asking her for names. And she was not, not, um, no intention of giving those names over. Mainly because in her eyes, if, you know, if she gave names over, she was a dead lady anyway. And, and, you know, if she didn't give names over, she was dead and she'd rather, and at that point she'd rather take her own life than, um, than anybody else do that. So, um, that was her state of mind she also there was no remorse no guilt no shame nothing in her um, reason being is that she the way her life has been and the way she's conducted her life which has been very abusive towards others and sadistic and um it's been normal for her there there has been no um she you know entered in what well, become conscious of this type of life since she was four years old so it's not uh it was just her way of life she never she also saw herself very differently from us you know from the majority of consciousness which seems to be a trait with you know the royal families and stuff like that they see themselves very differently um you know they look down upon us kind of thing um she had that about her then on sunday or monday when i looked in and a complete change around she'd given names over and then today when I was looking, I, I uh, connected to Donald Trump's, I went to find out information and so I could do a video and, you know, just uh, help people understand what was going on. Someone asked yesterday on my Facebook page. So I went and did a journey and, and I ended up um, connecting to Donald Trump. And um, he was telling me that um, this operation, this big operation that's going on with the, uh, uh, people being arrested uh, Maxwell and um, Weinstein and everything like that this is this is bigger than we think this is actually to conquer Hillary Clinton um, take down the um, sadistic the sa satanic uh, ritual abuse that is taking place um, and also save basically America being or America being taken over by um, AI when we look at Hillary so we look at Hillary and we see a you know a body of a female but actually behind within that body there is no consciousness whatsoever and uh, it's run by the, you know she's a representation of the matrix itself and um, she's a program now um, what this program wants, what the Matrix wants, what the programming wants is that um, Biden to get in, uh, Trump to you know be kicked out, Biden to get in, Biden dies uh, very quickly, Hillary to take over, and then Hillary um, is controlled by another program, which is George Soros, which embodies in George Soros, which is the all-seeing eye. He is the program of the OC and I show the Illuminati and you've got the the eye at the top that that is a program and he embodies that program. He is also has no consciousness in him. He's a computer. I know it's a bit weird, but um, that's how I perceive things. And um, so what um, Hillary's been doing, um, you know, it's more than um, emails. There's uh, uh, she's been trafficking children and that and trying to take the presidency and and all that and, and that needs to come to light and what Trump's been doing is arresting um, an operation of arresting, arresting people you know there's a lot of people under house arrest that assets have been seized um, and then there's people that are actually um, with the authorities and what they're doing is that they're basically cornering her um, so they can nab her um, and he said to me that she's not programmed to kill herself, so you can't even hope for suicide. Um, they, it, she literally has to be arrested and put in jail. Um, and that is the operation that is taking place. And they're, they're taking all, all her, basically, lifelines from the people that are connected to her, that help her, that 
fuel her um, and you know the celebrities and everything like that that are connected to her and and taking that that power away from them so she doesn't have the power to um, escape that's what I saw um, yeah so this is way bigger than just than we think it's exciting um, I also looked at Prince Andrew Bless him, he's not in a good state mentally. Um, he was going from panicking, didn't know what to do, to like laugh, laughing to himself, believing everything's going to be okay, drinking scotch or whiskey or something. So, yeah, he's... Uh, and, and this is what, you know, I said a few, you know, back in March and everything when the coronavirus and everything hit, it's um, the elite are falling. And, um, you know, and I, and I got a bad rap when I said watch the popcorn, you know, get your popcorn and watch the elite fall but basically that's what we've got to do and um, watch the elite fall um um because uh what i saw with uh andrew is the delusion of him being powerful and untouchable and um not having to take responsibility for any of his behavior or actions that he's done is fading and that's not just for him that is for all the elite including queen elizabeth and you know, all that elite people that, you know, abuse consciousness. So, um, yeah, they're going to have to take responsibility for what they have done. And, uh, yes, yeah, so enjoy the show. Okay. Okay. Thanks for watching. You take care. If you'd like to share my stuff, please share my stuff. Comment, please do. You take care. Thanks. Bye.